hey girl hey and the occasional guy welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing my September favorites before we get too far into October which by the way is my favorite month of the entire year which you guys probably know by now because I feel like I preach it all the time but anyways today is October 3rd the day that I'm filming it so happy National Mean Girls Day Woohoo! so let's go ahead and jump right into the favorites shall we so we should probably start with like the obvious favorite which you know is the change of hair so I've been blonde for like three like two and a half almost three years so well, I had been blonde and I decided to mix it up a little bit so I went um, dark I don't know the specific shade if any of you guys are curious because I went to um, obviously a stylist and she mixed the shade and I didn't think to ask like maybe if there was like a name but it's just like this really nice like brown color with like reddish undertones which it has faded because I've had the hair color for probably two weeks now I think um so yeah it's faded quite a bit but I really really like it I love the color and filling in my brows has actually been really fun because I'm so used to using just the lightest shade of like brow stuff so now I can actually play it up with some dark brows which I think is just perfect for fall so I've been loving the hair I hope you guys like it and if you have any recommendations for like brow products for like a chocolatey brown hair color like a medium brown um, shade please let me know because I am looking desperately for something new so I don't have like a ton of beauty favorites this month but the first favorite does have to do with my brows again and I've been using the Lorac Pro palette to fill them in um, because I don't seem to have any like single shadows that are like the perfect color for my hair so I've been using sable and espresso which is supposed to look super dark but it doesn't come out too too bad on my brows I've just been using these two kind of this in the middle area because my hair does have like a little bit of like a red tinge in the like sunlight and then espresso just right there on the tail end to really deepen it up and I've been really enjoying it and it seems to be working out for me so far so next for makeup I have been using my L'Oreal Revitalift Miracle Blur um, instant skin smoother primer thing which I don't think it's actually a primer I think it's just to help kind of smooth out any fine lines and pores and it has SPF an SPF of 30 which is actually pretty nice so I've been using this this stuff is like seriously so thick I love it it just covers literally everything that you need covered and it makes your foundation go on just flawlessly so next is for my under eyes and it is the NYX HD concealer this is in the lavender shade because as you can see I'm very pale and a lot of concealers are kind of it's kind of hard for me to find a concealer that's going to highlight my under eyes and I actually learned about this concealer from I just drew a blank I know her Jackie O I don't know why it's like literally I was thinking of her name and then up until I decided to say it I just my mind just went Anywho, Jackie O, um, she's also a very fair lady, she's gorgeous, so I will leave a link to her channel down below in case you want to check it out, but um, yeah, she uses this concealer to highlight under her eyes, and I was like, you know what, that's a good idea, so I've been using this a lot, I've had it for a while, I just kind of started using it this month, um, or well, last month, quite a bit, and I'm still using it this month, so I've been loving this bad boy. So next is for my cheeks, and this is the MAC Blush in Dolly Mix, which is just a really nice, kind of like, hot pink color and I have had this blush forever it seems like I bought this back when I first started getting into makeup and I just barely ever used it but for some reason in September I was getting really into the darker blushes as we're going into fall because it's quite cold cold <laughs> that didn't sound like you know North Dakota anyways <laughs> so it was been quite cold in September where I am surprisingly it's just been fluctuating like fall typically does and I've just been really enjoying the darker blushes so lastly for makeup, I have two lipsticks I want to mention. They're both from Maybelline, and they're from their new Creamy Mattes line, which I'm sure you guys have heard all about by now. But I'm seriously obsessed, and I cannot tell you how elated I was to find out that they were coming out with matte lipsticks for the drugstore. Like, seriously, I was so excited. But these two colors, I have one on right now, which is Lust for Blush. It's just this really nice kind of medium pinky purple color. Um, I say purple, but it's got like a little bit of like a purplish undertone. It's just really pretty. I like it a lot. And then the other one is Touch of Spice, which is just a really nice, deeper, spicy color. Really great for the fall as we get into the colder weather. So I've been obsessed with these. I've been obsessed with the whole line. I didn't buy the whole line, but I have six of the colors, and I'm literally in love with every single one of them. So another big favorite of mine this month has been the movie If I Stay, which I'm sure most of you guys have heard about or hopefully seen the movie by now, but I was seriously obsessed with it in September, like literally so in love. So in love. I not only saw it once, not twice, but 
three times last month. I saw once with a friend, once by myself, and once with my stepmom. And I honestly am just still so in love with the movie. The soundtrack just made it so perfect. And the movie, I, honest, I haven't read the book yet, which makes me, I feel like such a bum. I want to read it so bad. And I actually um, work at a bookstore now, so... I'm gonna get on that but um, the movie was just so phenomenal and so touching and sad and romantic and perfect. So for music of course all of my um, music favorites are listed on Spotify in a September playlist so I'll have that linked down below for you but I've also been loving just the entire If I Stay soundtrack because Willamette Stone or is it Jamie Blackley he actually sang on the soundtrack and in the movie and his voice is actually pretty nice to listen to so I was really obsessed with the soundtrack in September I just loved listening to the songs and thinking about the movie because I'm lame other than that I think that wraps up this month's favorites so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time bye Oh